Hello everyone, my name is Adam Partridge, and this is my persuasive speech. <clears throat> we have all seen babies playing or watching videos or playing games on their parents' phones or see adolescents and teenagers walking into things as a result of having their head buried in their phone. Technology presents many dangers and addictions to children and adolescents if not properly trained. In a world of constantly going towards technology, more and more of it is imperative to know the effects of technology causes on children to properly maintain healthy amounts of exposure to children. As a former after-school elementary school employee, I have seen the negative impacts that technology directly causes with children and adolescents. Technology has helped positively transform the world, but technology and social media can be detrimental and damaging if not properly controlled and monitored for children and adolescents. At my after-school program, almost all of the 4th, 5th, and 6th grade students had iPhones and were all on social media. When I was that age, we barely even had iPods, and most kids were not getting their phones till 7th and 8th grades. As a result of the younger generations becoming more technological savvy and being addicted to different social media platforms and games, they have lost self-control, and it helps persuade their image. I will validate the statement by discussing the effects of technology and social media on children and adolescents and how it can cause children to view themselves in ways that God did not design and for them to fall away from God values such as self-control and the value of human life. Let's take a closer look at this. With technology spreading younger and younger to each generation, it is imperative children and adolescents' use of technology and social media sites be monitored and properly controlled. Since the start of the 2000s, technology has taken throughout the world and is growing at a faster rate and quicker with each generation to come. In 2007, the iPhone was invented, and by 2013, 56% of adults had smartphones, while 80% of people ages 18 to 34. Social media platforms have been a must for all users, which the popular forms today include social media, or include Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. Now on to my second point. Technology has positively impacted the world for the most part, but overusage of technology and exposure to social media platforms at a young age can be detrimental to the growth and development. With everyone having a smartphone nowadays and being able to access the internet, social media, and play games all the time, it has really caused our children to spend too much time on electronics, which causes mental and physical problems. In 2015, the average teenager spent 11 plus hours a day using electronics, whether it be TVs, computers, or, or phones. The average teen sends 34 texts at night after they're in bed with the lights off. And while using a bright light where the lights are off, it can cause a loss of sleep and a bad day the next day. Technology and social media platforms at a young age can ruin the health and proper growth of children. Cyberbullying is a big problem with social media that many children encounter. As a result of cyberbullying, many teenagers are faced with suicidal thoughts or think they're not as good as other people just because of what other people say about them. Once someone hears something enough times, they start to believe it. Child and sexual, sexual predators are also able to reach younger children by luring them in through social media sites. If children do not know how to properly defend or look for child and sexual predators online, they can easily fall into their traps. This brings me to my final point. Social media and technology has driven children away from God value traits that glorify God. God values human life and even made it one of the Ten Commandments saying in Deuteronomy 5.17, you shall not murder. Social media can be a nasty world with bullies and cyberbullies. Cyberbullying can cause children to become suicidal and lose perspective on human life. Galatians 5, 22-23 talks about the fruit of the Spirit, specifically mentioning self-control. God values self-control, but technology and, electric and electronics can steer children away from having self-control. As a result of this, some children spend over 11 hours a day using it. This brings me to my conclusion. We see that technology is taking over the world, 
but we must act with younger generations so that they can control technology instead of technology controlling them. The problem with overusage of technology is a loss of self-control. If children do not properly know how to have self-control as a child and growing up learning it, once they become adults, they will never have any self-control on anything. A solution to this problem is informing everyone of the danger that technology presents, especially towards younger generations, and how to monitor and limit technology use. Take care of the young, younger generation. Make sure you are informed of the dangers of technology and what social media can do to children. Thank you.